I'm Oliver Watts and I'm a director at Chalk Horse Gallery. So Chalk Horse is sort of, it was started by a group of friends. It was started as a collective and we sort of were dealing with artists and it was for artists by artists. And in the last five years, it just seems to have grown and grown and all of a sudden we have a sort of serious gallery on our hands and it's sort of a bit surprising really. So even though that we've got a smaller space, like what we're trying to do, we've just been invited to Miami Scope, which is a huge thing. We've been invited to New York Scope and we're going to go to Hong Kong Futures. So we're sort of considered an emerging young space. But when we first started, the, the question was really just a simple one, was where are we going to show our work? So we were, we were making work together as friends in the studio. First few years, we would use other people's spaces. So we might have used you know, the Ivan Doherty Gallery, so we might use university galleries, we'd use other people's you know, um, consultants' galleries, shops, any place that we could have an exhibition. But in the end, as things progressed, we sort of moved into a more serious space. So let's, uh, let's head inside. Yeah, so how, how do you make a, a back door into a gallery? Tim? Well, I think you've done quite well. You've got both the back door and a, and a gallery door there, potentially. Yeah. Um, and so we're inside the space, yeah. which is like a hybrid space, really, isn't it? I mean, this floor here is like a loading zone. You can see the evidence of all the cars and trucks that have come in here. But here we have perfect gallery grade walls, white walls. So it's sort of like a, it's a smaller space all, all together, but then when you put the roller door up, it's a bit like a hatchback. Yes. A, a, ga a gallery hatchback. You can fit so much more. You can fit yeah. 2 and everyone, five kids in. And everyone moves on the street. <laughs> yeah. But, um, and then we have a bit of a street party and you can still see the art from the wall, which is yeah. better than we could do at the old space. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting that like, there are some unexpected benefits that have come from, from moving yeah. into this space. And the exhibition is such an important aspect of being an artist, that it's not really just a shop like going to a 7-Eleven where there's 10 items on the shelf to buy. It's very important for the artist to be telling a more fulsome story across an exhibition. It's a little bit like a, a rock star making an album that they, you know, they'll have the 12 tracks on the album and each track is a song, a different song, but overall it tells a big story. And I think that that's very important to have a good exhibition space where you can make those bigger gestures. I think especially in this collective, we all bring our own skills and our own interests into the group. And you know, like some people are just very good at speaking to people. And you know, that's great for a gallery as well. So you know, we all have different things and I think that's what's very exciting. I mean, the other exciting thing that, you know, that I enjoy so much is obviously having so many people around. So you know, we're very close friends and we're always working together, always supporting each other and it's a very nice environment to work. But we realise that we are sort of like a backdoor gallery in a small lane in Surrey Hills. But things like Art Month are just very exciting for us to bring a, a bigger group of people. So it's a little bit embarrassing what we've got um, organised for Art Month, but it is actually my show. And it, it's not as if I, you know, we show my art like every second week. I'm really looking forward to it. So what I'll do um, is that I'll have Tim Gregory as well as a collaborator on that work and we'll be doing quite a multimedia show. You know, if people do come, and maybe it is a little bit, oh, you know, I didn't do four unit art or, or three unit art, two unit art, um, that they feel it might be difficult. And sure, it is a bit poetic. I mean, that's the other thing, that it's not rational. Like, you can't look at art like you're looking at a spreadsheet. That's cool, and it's not as easy as reading a newspaper, but it's only not as easy in terms as you just have to open your mind to a more poetic way of thinking. And I know that is um, easier for some people than others. But it's a very fun journey to go on, to sort of think more elliptically and more laterally and with a little bit more magic.